it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here with another video. We are back on my map today with a, another update. Excuse me one sec. And we are back on my map today. Um, for another update. Uh, so, town is finally complete. Uh, I did a live stream yesterday. Um, today is Thursday, I'm hoping to get this video up yet today, but, uh, anyway, uh, today is Thursday, and so yesterday, being Wednesday, I finished town, uh, finished Linton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a in-depth tour of Linton. Um, now, keep in mind, this Linton is not realistic to the real, uh, place, um, I, they're really to keep it super realistic, um, it would be very, very hard, you know, I'd have to basically sit and make a ton of stuff, and I don't really feel like doing that, so, um, yeah, there are some things that are, you know, somewhat meant to resemble real life, but, so here we are at the dealership, uh, Sailor Implement, which is the real life dealership. Uh, I have the vehicle spawn area to go from where this is all the way down there to the other end. So you can buy a lot of vehicles before the dealership lot gets full. So we'll drive over here to the gateway so I can show you guys that before I give you a tour of the building here. So as you can see, uh, this, I just kind of threw it together. It's not the greatest, but, uh, it says Sailor Implement. That's the dealership that's there in real life. Uh, so I put that little piece there to resemble that. And we'll just shut this guy off for now. Um, I don't have door trigger on my map yet, the script, but all the doors work. But I will add the script anyways. But, uh, yeah, so this is the dealership. Uh, you got a little office space over here. Um, you got some tools over here. Uh, here we got, you know, like a lift. You know, you got, so you can move your, oops, um, remove engines and that kind of stuff. You got another workshop space. All the doors open. Um, this building is from Mod Hoster. Uh, I just changed the textures for it. Oh, this has working lights, I think. Let's find out if all the lights in here work. Yep, they do. Awesome. That's cool. Okay. Um, and then over here, there's some storage. There's another door there. Got an AC unit here, which is supposed to make sound, I think. There's an engine hoist there. We got a cabinet. Um... A jack, a air compressor, and we got a little couple calendars, I think is what they are. Then if we go down here, this is my favorite part. It's kind of a pain to get down to. Come on, let me in. There it goes. You have a little underground spot, which is really cool. That's my favorite thing about this. But then you got more storage and stuff down here. Um... It's a pain to get out of, so I'm just going to tap to the truck. But yeah, so here's the dealership. Um, I have updated the PDA to go with uh, the current version of the map. Um, we'll go over here, I guess. So now we'll go to... We'll just go to the edge of town here. Go to the edge of town, and then I can start from the beginning, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so... 
Um, this road all the way along here is Linton Lane. So we have a stop sign here and then we have the sign that says Linton Lane. And then this road here is County Lane 2. Uh, there's so far co two county lanes. Uh, I'm not going off realistic streets. I'm, I just made up a bunch of random ones. Just kind of have some. And then we got another street sign here. We got another one there. Uh, we got a four-way stop here. And then here's the sign, which is the actual sign. And then, so we'll take a drive down Linton Lane here. That's what this street that we're on is called. So we'll just drive on down here to the end. So there we have a house. Uh, this is First Street here, as you can see. Uh, this is First Street, and along here we have some houses. We have the uh, school right here with playground. Uh, and then if we drive on down, did I miss a mailbox? Yes, I did. I need to take all the rigid bodies off of that mailbox. I missed that one, evidently. So we drive on down here, down at the end, we have the elevator. Uh, I'm gonna put a scale on either end, maybe. Um, at least one end for sure. And then get a pro, a grain probe for on top of the scales. And then Ah, uh, dang it. My time scale is being stupid again. So let's go to day. Uh, and then we got... <clears throat> we got five butler bins up here. Now if we head on over here, uh, this road that goes over here is Sailor Road. As you can see right there. So now we're turning on to 3rd Street. But we're going to turn off and go to 2nd Avenue, which connects between 1st uh, Street and 3rd Street. And then turn here and go up 2nd Street. Oop, that mailbox needs redoing as well. So then we'll turn here and go on to 1st Avenue. And there we have the Tesoro gas station. Um, really, this is all just houses. So then here's 3rd Street again. Here is the Linton Volunteer Fire Department. Um, this is in another language, but I don't feel like changing it, really. I suppose I could, but... So now we're back on to Linton Street. Or Linton, Linton Lane, I mean. And so now we're on 4th Street. Which is more houses, more houses, more houses. <laughs> There's a lot of houses on here. And then we'll turn on to 3rd Avenue. Which runs all the way along here. And then we'll go up 5th Street here. And then... We'll go ahead and turn back on to Linton Lane and go down 6th, 6th Street. Ugh. Close the HUD. And we'll go back on to 3rd Avenue. And then we'll head on up Main Street, which is where all the action is. So. In real life, there's a Ford dealership down there, so I took this Ford dealership off of Salem, South Dakota, and added four trucks. We got um, F-250 King Ranch, American flag version, we got an F-450, and then we got an F-150. And then if we back in over here, here we have the bank, uh, Farm Bureau Bank. 
And if we go right here, you can do uh, work with your loan. Oops, wrong button. Um, so that's kind of neat. Where's our truck? There it is. Uh, so then we'll get back on Main Street here. Um, here we have five random businesses. Uh, those are all off Salem, South Dakota. Uh, this Iron Wheel is off Salem, South Dakota. And then here we have Family Dollar and Linton Food Center. Both of these are actual places. Uh, Linton Food Center is the grocery store down there. Uh, then we have the motel. There is a couple hotels down there, but they're not quite like that. Uh, this is the Happy Hour Bar, which is a real place as well. Um, it's just not at all like it is in real life. Uh, because it's kind of more so like these. I just don't have one like that. So then these two sections of building came off of Salem, South Dakota as well. So then we'll go ahead and go down Church Street. This is what I think I named this one. Yeah, Church Street. And we'll head on up here. We got some houses. I had an itch. <laughs> um, then, if we get up to here, here we have the post office, uh, which it was an actual post office. It's a mod, actually. Um, I just took it and changed the wording from whatever language it was in to, you know, say L United States Postal Service. You know, here we got the hours, you know, United States Postal Service, Linton, North Dakota, the zip code. Uh, this guy is reading a foreign paper. I didn't change that because I didn't really worry about that. Then we got the mailbox, which says uh, Linton, you know, Linton Post Office, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Um, now that town is done, what my plan is is to work on filling in all of the fields um, and then I'm also going to be moving the field trick or field uh, by like the field number will go out in the middle of the field because as you can see um, let me get in the truck here as you can see you know like the you guys can't see there you go you can see you know like it's up there I kind of want it down more in the middle you know especially here with five and six they're like right next to each other so, um, just making sure, you know, that's out of the way. And then I'll also start adding in the, you know, miscellaneous farms, you know, like that one over there. I have to adjust that road there yet. Um, the highway out there, well, I guess can go that way, I guess, too. I've done that. So we'll go ahead and we'll drive on out of town. So we'll go, this is County Road 2, um, there's a farm, let's see, it's up here a little bit further yet. Uh, the farm is basically straight in front of us, where the road kind of curves, um, that goes basically around their farmyard. <clears throat> so right in here is where the farm would be somewhere so we'll continue on down here <clears throat> so then up here just bringing this up um, up here, right in here, is more houses. Uh, there's like two of them, I believe. Two or three small houses. Um, so then we're back. This is County Road 1. And then this is... Oh, what the heck. Hmm, I didn't give those ones names, I guess, but... 
Oh well, I don't really care. Uh, this is County Road 1 here. Which goes through Temvik. Which I still have to add that as well. But that'll be later on. Uh, especially, you know, because one of the main areas here in Temvik is my uh, papa's Temvik house and their barn and stuff. So, so here we are. We're at Highway 2, or 83, I mean. I don't know why I said 2, but uh, Highway 83, which is the actual highway. Um, and then that right there is County Lane 1, extended. Uh, I still have some more adjustments to make with the terrain here along the road, which I'll be doing eventually. Along with a few sections of road in town that need changing. So then this here is somebody's driveway, so... And they just had the single sign that says the highway. And we get up here. And this is where the heart of the map is. Uh, we turn down this road. And I have to extend the gravel to go up to the road. Uh, actually, no. I really don't. But uh, here we are on Will Lane. That's the actual road. Um, so there's two two roads that are actually real. Uh, let me fix that. So there's this one and then the highway. Um, well, in terms of names. But yeah, so these two are realistic in terms of names. And then... Uh, So and this is just a little kind of basically a section line really that goes back there so that doesn't need a street or a, you know like a label I'll say and then as we get up here Um, this is the road that I need to change yet, because it's a little too, uh, too wide. I need to basically cut it in half. But this is another, it basically goes to a driveway, so I don't have a name for this one either. But, yeah, so that's a update for you guys. Um, it's getting there. The fields and the surrounding farms will go by very quick. Uh, thankfully, you know, fields, they don't take much, and these farms, it'll basically be, you know, the most difficult part will be deciding which shops and which house I want there. Um, otherwise, you know, that'll be pretty, pretty easy as well, so. So, yeah, um, that's gonna be all for this video. Uh, I will do the next video when I have finished with all of the fields and farms and uh, everything else except for when I so basically the next video that I do I'll have everything done on the map except for the areas that I have to make models for basically the farm the elevator and bins in Temvik and the Temvik house area so yeah guys um, thank you for watching don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos and to see more. And uh, be sure to check out down below in the description for links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels to check out. Be sure to keep in mind that on my mod site, a account is needed to see all the mods. Um, there's not many on there at the moment, but there will be more in the future. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, guess that'll do it from me so we'll see you guys in the next video